Hello, my name is James Fletcher, I'm Director of ARC Scotland. Uh, and ARC facilitates the National Involvement Network, the organisation who uh, produced the Charter for Rome. It is ensuring that people who use services are involved in the, the planning and the running of those organisations. Um, their experience, and they have been experts by experience, I think is an extremely vital part to making services better and getting quality of life uh, for people uh, and improve. What members are very clearly saying is they want the Charter to have teeth. It's one of the reasons that there's a, a tiger on the, uh, the cover. And the members of the NIN want to be involved in checking the organisations who have signed up to the Charter. And there are 22 organisations in Scotland that have formally committed to meeting the statements in the, the, the Charter. Um, the NIN are saying they want to be involved in well, how do we check that the Charter is actually making a difference to people's lives. One of the, the, the key features of the Charter is that it requires the head of the organisation, whether that's a chief executive or whoever is at the, the top of the organisation, to commit to meeting the, the statements in the Charter. But it's the people who use the service who are responsible for evaluating and saying whether that's happening or not. So it works at both ends of the organisation. Well, what difference is that? Maybe we've seen many um, people being involved in recruiting staff yes. uh, and development. We've seen that commonly in, in, in organisations. Organisations making a real commitment to involving people in staff recruitment, whether that's being involved in the interview process, but also involved in like, job descriptions and, and, and meeting people before they are um, uh, before they're interviewed. Uh, and one of the statements in the Charter um, says that we should be involved in writing policies that affect us, and those policies should be easy for us to, to understand. Uh, and I think once organisations are supported to look at that, uh, you know, we, we've worked with many organisations, for example, who have involvement policies, uh, but the people who actually use the service have never seen those policies or been involved in writing them. So there are very clear um, uh, tasks and changes that can be made once you start exploring the way an organisation works from the perspective of the, the, the Charter. And the Charter says quite clearly that people who use the service should be involved in board management. Uh, we had a lovely quote, quote from one organisation who said they met with the Board of Management for the first time in the organisation's 47 year history. And that was a real significant cultural change and step forward. We see now within the National Involvement Network people get involved in quite complicated bits of work. And I think people are, are engaged and committed to the Charter and through that engagement and commitment they can start grasping really some quite complicated um, uh, ideas. And one of our jobs is to facilitate um, the, the National uh, Involvement Network. But ARC is very clear as an organisation that this belongs to the National Involvement Network and it will always belong to the National Involvement Network. And if we were ever to forget that, then what the Charter for Involvement about would be lost. <laughs>